What's good everybody, it's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I thought I'd go over one of the tools that top producers use to get over beat block. We all get beat block, I get beat block. Sometimes it takes months to get over beat block. This tool definitely helped me get over beat block many, many times. You may have seen me use it in a couple tutorials already before, but today I wanted to go into detail and really show you what this plugin can do. It's a tool that allows you to create chord progressions really easily. It's called Captain Chords by Mixed and Key. So let's open up an instance of it and see what it's all about. Okay, so I have Logic Pro X open now with a channel strip um, that I'm using Omnisphere on for the sound that we're going to be using with Captain Chords. Let's go ahead and click on MIDI effects and come down to audio units, mixed in key, and select Captain Chords to open up that instance of Captain Chords. And now we can select the scale that we want to work with and the key. I'm going to select the simple C minor. There's also a randomize button below that you could use to randomize your key and your scale, but I'm not going to do that right now. Let's just hit go. Now we're presented with the Captain Chords interface, and I'm going to try and touch on all of these various uh, sections here uh, so you can really understand what it can do. Let's take a look at this first verse section that we're in. The um, different chords in that scale are presented to us right here, and we can play them back by just clicking on them. And each of these chords also have variations that you could try out. And let's uh, have a listen to these other variations. Some of them sound kind of weird, but I guess they are still in that scale, so can't really mess up. I'm a beat maker by heart, so I'm hearing all this fire right now that I want to use for my beat, so I'm trying to make mental notes. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's very cool. All right, so now let's come down here to this timeline and actually write a chord progression uh, with the chords that we have in the scale. Uh, so I'll start off with a C minor, I hit the plus sign, now I can change this up to this chord here, then let's go to the next chord, and let's go to the next chord. Now if you have in Logic uh, a loop, a four bar loop, because this is four bars, right, you could play back your um, chord progression in Captain Chords, you can make it faster. Now let's go back to the first chord and try out some of these uh, different uh, things like the inversion. So now it's currently on uh, minimize leap. You can do that to a default triad. First inversion, second inversion. You can also come here in the drop down menu and select what you wanted. I'll keep it as minimize leap. Can select a flavor. You can go sixth, seventh, ninth, eleventh, and thirteenth. Let's uh, select a sixth, seventh. Oh, it's actually adding, adding them together. So I'll unselect one, ninth, unselect, thirteenth. Let's uh, actually do just the sixth let's try the seventh and uh, we can also uh, change our complexity here that means the the more I add if I come over to the right it will add more notes Or you can, uh, you know, get a little more simpler by coming the other way. You can also change your octave. So those are really nice tools that you could try out with each chord. 
If you're not satisfied, you can come over here and change your key and your scale again, but I'm not going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and uh, check out these uh, progressions or this progression list. So here are progressions that are available to you in that uh, key and that scale. So uh, let's just select a random one here. I like this one here, so I'm going to select OK. And now it's rewritten that, uh, that entire chord progression below. Definitely, you know, very inspiring right off the bat. Now let's uh, change some of the, the, the rhythm components of that and uh, let's see what we have here. We have on chord change. Uh, let's try an action and hit OK. Let's try something else. Man, that's a hit. Let's try aerodynamic. Got some triplets in there, that's nice. All right, let's see what else is uh, almost on beat, it's called. Nice, what else is there? Just select a random one one more time. It's a little too much for me. Let's uh, select action again. Nice. Now let's come over to note length and we'll change this to quarter notes. Also try dotted eighth. It's a little shorter or short. You could also come over here to MIDI and change the velocity. So uh, that is the verse, and uh, we'll go ahead and export this now. All you have to do is click and drag this right over, like so. Turn Captain Chords off, and uh, play it back. I'll double-click that MIDI region so we can take a quicker, better look at it. Come, you know, in here and change everything again if you'd like. Okay, let's go ahead and duplicate our instance of Omnisphere and Captain Chords. And let's find a different sound here. So I'm going to open this up, hit sound match, and we'll pick a random one here. That's a nice one. Let's turn uh, Captain Chords back on and find a different rhythm that will go underneath it. Click and drag that in like so. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. If you want to check out Captain Chords by Mixing Key, check the link in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button so you're notified anytime we upload some new content. My name's CJ Beats, and I'm out for now. Peace. Thank you